in the poll because you know I, I don't like this I don't like well I do need some residual income I <laughs> but um, I don't like this this movement among um, black women where the, and now everybody wants to be a stripper you know so to keep their men interested and keep them at home mm -hmm. and out the strip club black women you know have you know they they're going in droves to these, you know, pole dancing classes. And I feel like stripping needs to stay with strippers. I'm right with that. That is actually something that oh, women yeah. feel will oh, work. Oh yeah, oh, oh yeah. Well, I think, I yeah. thought it was more of, you know, just a vehicle to, to loosen yourself up to do other things. Okay. You yeah, know I just thought it was like some, just another form of exercise. Um, well, I mean, I, that, that's the nice is, little but... label you like to put on it. So when you tell your church friends, right. and you get your church friends to go, that's what well, you when tell. When you see everybody run up in there with their six feet, uh, and they talk about, yeah, I got no, this from my husband. Uh, it's like at home. And uh, so, uh, uh, yeah, I mean, but no, really, where it's coming from is, you know, they're trying to stripping strippers are in, mm -hmm. and so you know, you can't beat them, join them. Okay. Now I don't subscribe to that. I, I believe leave her with you the hoe. No, leave her with you the hoes. Let them make their money. Y'all need to put them out of business. <laughs> I saw this side note. I saw this video on Facebook. It was like a group of entrepreneurial young ladies that mm -hmm. she just referred to, and they were having a little prayer before they went on. I, I bet they do. Care. I bet they do. For well, some reason, true. the camera was zooming in to all of them. But I know. I'm sure. I know that. Larry, you see. Don't let the pole be too slick. Okay. <laughs> let my arms maintain the strength to hey, anchor me to the top. Hey, uh, hey, so hey, 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 Sexy, sexy, what is, sexy, what is, what is oh, so liquid motion is, and this is really interesting. So white girls, when they strip, they do a lot of floor stuff. Mm -hmm. um, and so we're learning how to do those floor movements that they do. Yeah, it, it, it has like to be seen. Yoga, it or? is, actually. And that's the thing that makes it nice. It's almost like a Pilates kind of thing. It is very, you, I don't think people know. Can I, can I yeah, you can actually. Oh, it's man like you know. It's well, I mean, no, it's not necessarily co ed at the moment, but if you wanted to make <laughs> you it, it, it probably will. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I mean, yeah, exactly. Well, yeah, but I think if you're a single man, man in there, then maybe it's not. It's just because maybe that it's not men that are interested in doing it. Uh -huh. You know what I mean? But if you're interested in doing it, come come right on. Uh -huh. Um. Oh, and I can put my legs behind my head, right? And then go into this cobra pose. Oh, right. yeah. And then when you're in the class. <laughs> yeah. I, 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 I did it in class. I'll have you know. Well, that's why I learned exactly. it. Exactly. And I didn't even need to use the wall or anything. I could just flip them back in. I'm going to keep this conversation being real. Oh, my God. Tricks and stuff going on. Damn, myself. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, anyway, but yes, it's like a yoga and a Pilates kind of thing. I did not realize how much physical exercise stripping takes. Like, it really is mm -hmm. a lot of exercise. And that's why they sure. say it is, you know, great exercise. It but is. it requires a lot of body strength. It does. Yeah, it do thing it do does. Yeah, that's all that, yeah. It really, really does. And I, I was just so fascinated. I'm so See, fascinated. See, and so that's why you have to go to the stadium and be in awe. Oh, okay. Well, I said, you know, maybe like an over 50 strip, you know. <laughs> yeah, you know. Men who like stretch marks and, you know, <laughs> cellulite. Shoot. You know, because um, I don't know if this is weird, but when I go to Atlanta, my brother and I go to the strip club. Mm -hmm. Mostly because in Atlanta, you could smoke in clubs. So. Mm -hmm. Oh, you can? Yeah, yeah, you can smoke weed, whatever. So You can smoke weed? Absolutely, absolutely, absolutely. absolutely. Sure. And so, um, uh, and then, you know, he doesn't want to pay the $65 to go in the clubs and all that. So whatever, whatever, whatever. We go in with a great time. But I have to tell people, what I've been telling my, my friends was that, because everybody's like, I can't believe you're going to sit in a strip club. And I was like, but you know what? It really helped me a little bit with body confidence and body image and stuff. Okay. Because um, it was in the Atlanta strip club where I saw a girl. I don't know how to explain this. And like she she isn't a thin girl. Mm -hmm. She was a thick girl. Mm -hmm. But she was so, and she had cellulite, mm -hmm. you know? 
and she had a little stretch mark, the zebra joints. <laughs> and and she was just the shaking, and people was throwing her crazy. money. Right. And I was looking at her like, I would never in my life be able to do that with God. I admire the shit out of you because, wow, like, Maybe I'm not that bad. Like, I don't Was know. Was she the only girl like that? No, there are lots of girls like that in Atlanta. That's the thing that you have to remember there's somebody, there's a, there's a niche for everybody. Yeah. And especially when it comes to things like that, you know, just like. <laughs> no. Oh. Keep the question. Okay, okay. There's. There's somebody for everybody. Just like there was a young lady that I used to work with, and she was rather large, and we would always be like, my Lord, her butt is so wide. You know, she had very large legs. She was just very kind of large. Mm -hmm. But a coworker would say, well, every time we're together, we walk down the street, guys like these, yeah, hey, yeah. yeah. So she said, it told me that I'm looking at myself as, this was the other lady talking, as, oh my God, I'm big, but I'm not nearly as big, big as, as she, her. Right. But I'm down in myself because yep. I'm big. Mm -hmm. And yep. then where men are going crazy over her. Yep. They ain't looking at me, they looking at her. But it could also be just a confidence that she got happens to exude. True, but that makes but, I mean, again, same thing like that this young lady. That could even be picked up from a passing car. Same mm -hmm. thing like this young lady, though. Know, she's in the strip club. She's not sitting there like, no. Oh. No, you know, I'm scared. Me, she come of, up there, she's like, bam. Yeah, yeah. I'm weed. telling you, it well, is especially with black men. You know, black men like a little. Like, yeah, like a little thick. I know, but I don't know. I mean, I still suffer. From, I grew up in the in the in the time when, um, like, oh man. No one's gonna believe this now, but honestly, in high school, I had I had a Beyonce body. I had an Amber Rose body. Okay. Big breast. Thick thighs. I was a dancer, so mm -hmm. my my legs were so taut and mm -hmm. stomach was flat and all of that stuff. And I always felt like the fattest person in a room. Really? Why? Yeah. Well, because I was always a chubby kid. And then mm -hmm. imagine being 14, 15 years old with with breasts like Dolly Parton. And I really did have breasts mm -hmm. like Dolly Parton. <laughs> I really did. And I was teeny. So they weren't just large, but they, they were, were big and heavy. And you said you were like a yes. double D or something, right? Uh, like a GH, double G, double H. Oh my God. Yeah, where it was honestly. Awesome. It didn't match. No, well, <laughs> yeah, no, actually, you know that double you're G, asymmetric in your bodies. Okay. You know, so one side of us is bigger right. or larger than the other. Okay. Yeah, seriously. Like, seriously. And so I, I and, and I never had a role model for anybody that looked like me. You mm -hmm. understand? So, so you didn't get that from your mother? Not at all. No, well, yeah, you know, yeah, the breast and all that is my father's side because we do. Okay. Um, and I never, I never had anybody to support and encourage me. My family will always tease me about being chubby. Mm -hmm. Everybody want to put you on a diet, mm -hmm. all this kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. And you know, the dancing helped. Mm -hmm. That helped thin me out, but that never did anything for the breast. Right. And um, so you were getting smaller than they weren't. Right. Wow. Exactly. And then um, it took me being teased. And then I went and got a breast reduction. As an adult, mm -hmm. I got embarrassed mercilessly at a, a, at a pool party. Wow. It was it was very it was very embarrassing. And I have to say, it was it was a gay man who shamed the shit out of me. What? Yeah, I was very hurt by this. A stranger? <laughs> no, and he wasn't really a stranger. Quick story: um, a coworker uh, was getting married. He, his brother is gay. His brother had a white lover, Tim. I'll never forget Tim's name. Um, Tim was one of these sassy mouth, no, you. you know, real sassy gay men. Mm -hmm. um, uh, I, at that point, you know, was trying to like love myself. I, I, at that point, it was like, there's nothing else I could do. I got big breasts. I just got big breasts. Mm -hmm. um, had on a big, uh, Rodney was getting married, um, had a pool party. Mm -hmm. We're all at the pool party, and yeah, I wore a bikini, uh, not a bikini, I, I mean, I had on a bathing suit, mm -hmm. but you know, my breasts were right. kind of bubbling over, because when you have large chest like that, and you're small at the bottom, mm -hmm. it's difficult to get things, you know what I'm saying, mm -hmm. because this is small, but this isn't, and anyway, I walked in, and he, it's like he made the whole party stop, he was like, Jesus Christ, look at them titties. <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> and then I 
I was like, you know, and then he, um, I got in the pool. He said, if you can't swim, just grab on to one of them titties. Get one of them titties and grab on to them and float yourself off across this pool, girl. Non-stop. It was non-stop. So everybody was, was laughing. Yeah. Everybody was laughing. And I'm doing everything I can, biting my cheek not to cry. Because oh it was God. one of those things where it would have been loosen up, right. loosen up. You know, and he just telling jokes, loosen up. So now would you have wanted an apology? <laughs> <laughs> no, because it wouldn't have mattered. Because the what he said was the shame I was already feeling about myself. So what happened was, and this is God's honest truth. Just because I'm feeling it, don't give you the right to say it. Well, that's fine. That's true. But see, but see where my mind, how my mind go? What I did was that Monday, I didn't go to work. I went to Howard University Hospital to the plastic surgery department. It's serious. It's a heart attack. And I was like, these breasts got that to go. Next to I swear to God, these breasts got to go. They got to go. Tim, damn So you. there was they never like a moment where they were so appreciated that you were comfortable with them. No. So and guys didn't love them. Guys may have loved him, but I always felt like a freak of nature. Mm -hmm. I always felt like a freak of nature. You gotta show me the picture of this. I don't, I don't, you know I what? I don't, don't take I don't take pictures. I don't, I, I, I don't like pictures. I don't take pictures. So you're not gonna see very many pictures of me with my breasts big like that. You just, mm -mm, I didn't. And I went a light, almost half a lifetime, honestly, mm -hmm. um, ashamed and hiding. And all so of that. So you try to push them down? Yeah, I was all wearing baggy clothes. Like people didn't realize that I wasn't as fat as they thought I was because, for one, the breasts will make you look bigger. Right. And then I'm always wearing baggy clothes. I was so happy for TLC because, <laughs> yeah, I mean, they made baggy clothes popular. And I was like, thank God that I could be tomboyish and I don't have to show my figure and nobody has to see or know. Did they change when you were pregnant? Well, I had got my breasts reduced before I got pregnant. Oh. So, um, and that was that was sad because then I couldn't no I couldn't breastfeed mm -hmm. after oh, that. Breastfeed? No, 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 because they actually moved the nipple and everything. So I did produce milk, which was thank God to my surgeon. Although my surgeon did mess me up because my star no, because then this is what happens. Unfortunately, I got the breast reduction. I was so focused on I won't have big breasts anymore. Mm -hmm. What I didn't pay attention to was oh, but you're gonna scar. Mm -hmm. You're gonna have scarring now. Like they completely remove your nipple and reattach yeah, it. Right. And then you got like I had all these scars and then it was like, oh no. Like eat like before when I had big breasts, at least they was pretty. I didn't even have stretch marks. Like I didn't even have stretch marks. My breasts were naturally supposed to so be. So the huge. scars were still there. Oh yeah, the scars are there. And so now it's, unfortunately I traded one thing for oh, another. Like where's the camera gonna show up? No, <laughs> I would never do that. But oh, I I'm so they don't they don't so I mean, and the sky has has lightened up, or whatever the proper terminology is. It's not on the aerial. Um, that has kind of diminished a little. Diminished. That that has diminished a little bit. Mm -hmm. But for a really long time in my twenties, I would have to have conversations with a guy, like to explain to him, I'm not a freak. It's just I have a story. These scars tell a story, and this is my story. Oh, so the scars were kind of large. Yeah, oh. yeah, because they I had a lot of boobs. And so they took, like, I think the doctor said they took eight pounds of breast out of one oh, and wow. 10 pounds out of another. Swear to God, I had big breasts. I really did. They would drop wow. right down over my, to my belly button. Wait, I that cannot button. imagine I know. 18 pounds. I know. A breast. Your front. A breast. That's why. And then, and then, and then what happens? Pamela Anderson Lee gets the same. Yes, you got <laughs> Boom. And I'm looking, I'm telling you, like, I'm sitting in sheer amazement of that. Who wants breasts big like that? Like, I didn't even have a concept that somebody was going and paying people to give you breasts like that. Because that was like all that. prior to all the people in Hollywood doing all that. It really life. was. It really was. Because I saw this woman on Botch. She just yes, with the, with the joints like that. Yeah. Oh, like beach balls. I don't understand who wants that. It's so uncomfortable. But, you know, I think, like, when you look at a lot, at a lot of those shows, it's about the attention. You know. I didn't like it. Well, you got to get the attention. There. Yeah. I, there was this one woman on there. Yeah, like Something it. was seriously wrong with her because not only did she just want these like huge beach ball things, but then she did something to her skin where it turned her black. black. Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 that yeah, was yeah, the yeah. German yeah. lady. She's crazy. She just, was it all she's absolutely she's crazy. It's just a rice metal boyfriend. She had that. She, she's crazy. right. Right. But she had that 
that bleach blonde hair. Right. So she has that dark skin, yeah, like saw- milk chocolatey. Yeah, she was taking uh, injections that was tanning her. Right. And then the husband was the husband. A boyfriend was doing the same thing. Oh no, I didn't. I didn't see no, that. No, this is like progressed. You saw the husband, a boyfriend. He's kind of chubby. Yes. Yeah. Now he's doing it. He's like, oh, he's dark. Um, no, are you serious? Because I watched she she a freak show. So she yeah, is unattractive. She, she doesn't look good at all. That that but she got a good bleach job because it don't look dry. No, yeah, it's true. Look dry. Yeah. But that's why I was, it was, I was like, I just don't get it because, and then when they talk, it's like, I'm trying to see what the name of that this show because I watched it on Facebook, but it's it's botched. Okay, so this this wasn't botched, or maybe they take. But I'm sure they might have been on other shows as well. Yeah, they've been on a lot of shows. I, I first saw her on a uh, Maury Povich oh, actually. Oh, this is back when she was still white, white. Though. Yeah, she was still white, but why was she on Maury for something? I think maybe it was just the attention from the breast or something. Well, I guess she was definitely not. But there've been yeah. other people that've been on Botch so like that. I'm just oh, like, hooked on the look. Is oh, it's called um, on Facebook and YouTube. I Do you ever see the guy that it. looks? He looks Asian, but, but like a Ken doll or something. Yeah, yeah he doesn't look yeah. good. Just but okay, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? He is I'm copying like, the stuff. other guy because you know there was another guy. It was a Caucasian guy that did that. And no, this guy was Caucasian. We're talking about. He looks Asian, but he's like a human Ken doll. Okay, he's got. Yeah. Packs and but oh. that's not this. The original guy is tall and slender. It doesn't look Asian at all. Looks He's just British like or a, a white guy, kind of slender face. Yeah. He has like the comb over kind of yeah. hair. Like to me, he was really more of the Ken doll. No, I think um, that's what, that's not, I think that's what I'm talking about. Okay, because then and he was, talked about having like a rich. Um, no, this um, guy boyfriend. has always. He never had a boyfriend. He had always done these things with hopes of having the boyfriend. And his oh. claim was that he had all these, I think, over a hundred surgeries or something like yeah, that. Yeah, I think we're having to talk about this. And first. then this guy, um, the Asian guy, was the one with the boyfriend that they showed. Oh yes, yes, yes. Okay, I was what I was saying was that the guy with he just kind of looks Asian. Yeah, he, I guess yes. he has so much tight, stuff in his face. He guy. has very tight eyes. He's definitely yeah. not Asian. Yes. But there was another guy on there that was Asian yeah. who had the white boyfriend. Yeah. But he just he's just like Well, yes. Yeah. I was like, you opted on that? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Like I'm a fan of plastic surgery. I, I clearly. I mean, I think you should do whatever it takes to make you feel like you want to feel. Yeah, but at the same time, it's just like, why is Jane Fonda not passing out her cards? Whoever she going okay, to, so so every, beast, ain't it? everybody else be that. Yeah. Oh my yeah. god. Oh, she has dark hair now, so she oh really does look black. Oh my god, and she getting thick, like you know, mm-hmm. thick. Because before Ugh. she was really skinny. Yeah. Well, she, she looks fine. horrible. She does. She looks horrible. God bless you, girl, if you're watching, but yeah. She looks horrible. Mm. And I, I mean, that to me is like mental illness. Like she, yeah, it has she to be some made, sort of body dysmorphia for you to think that that looks good. It has to be. Good. It has to be. Well, okay, so I, okay, so now, now that you bring that up. What? You said it, it has to be something mental. What about uh, transgender women who consistently alter? To look more feminine? Well, it, it goes beyond that point to where it becomes too much. Mm. So like, I, I, I don't want to call names, but there are several that I know that- Shred it um, I was like, <laughs> no, I'm no, not that. But you know what? I will type it so that you know who I'm talking about because it would probably give you- um, Cause I mean, I've seen some, I don't know if you, I don't know if I would necessarily label them extreme because sometimes people just, it just goes, oh, I got to see this. Okay. So um, it just know. goes a little, I mean, I would say with some people, you just don't know what you're going to get. Sometimes you can just go to a bad doctor and just things just don't turn out the way you're going to think. Yeah, well, because not everything heals the way you think it's going to heal. Yeah. And you're not always going to look, you know. The way you think you're going to look. You're not going to look like this is what I would You were born that way. You will have a better chance if you go to a doctor. And okay, let me say this. And I think it's not all doctors. Are meant to do that type of work. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but I think and it also has to do a lot to do with the person and the way that they're healing. Like you look at Jane Fonda; she's like what 83, 84? Mm-hmm. She looks good, but she doesn't look 
Like, done. She doesn't yeah, look dumb. Yeah, like, yeah. Like, she don't look like she can't look. Yeah, exactly. Like, if she sat out, her mouth yeah. would flower. But she don't look yeah. like that. She don't look. Do you think Jane Fonda went to the $5,000 no. doctor? Oh, yeah. Oh, she oh, yeah. went. Oh, okay. So she, but then what happened? She did. So, well, well she went to a reputable doctor. She went to $5,000 no, doctor. Oh, see, we're know. thinking 5000 is expensive. He's thinking, no. Oh, that's 2025. Oh, no, no, no. Right. No, no. <clears throat> so so six, I think. Six, 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 <clears throat> I think that has a lot to do with it. And especially, like I said, when you go into um, a lot of members of the transgender community, who that happened to, because that has been like, you know, I'm not transgender, but I have been but like, mercy, it, yeah. <laughs> since I was really young. And I'll say young as in like 18. Mm-hmm, like I, mm-hmm. That was when a lot of people I knew had started transitioning. And mm-hmm. so I watched things. But you know, they, they were doing did. things on the cheap. They were getting like, but that's what I'm saying. Right. Fix the fly. Right. 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 So, right. like that. Right. With that, is when you get things that look like that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Although, I think, though, this woman's actually been though, going to. No, right. She did. Yeah. But what I'm saying is, so when we say, okay, well, she well, doesn't do do rap with people because a doctor should tell you, girl. You don't need all in breasts. Exactly. Because I mean, well, of did you feel lighter? You don't you need it. Oh gosh, it. I feel tons lighter. You don't need it, but but that has to. But be, I think that that you know, should be even about practice. I was going because you shouldn't even. No, honestly, you shouldn't even agree to give somebody breasts that large. Like that's that should there should just be a standard, and that's that's, even if that's just saline. That, oh, that's a lot of saline. That is a lot very, of shit to carry around. Heavy. Yes. Yes, it's not a balloon. <laughs> you know what I mean? No, you know, with Aaron. Like Aaron no. Yeah. That is crazy to me. Her back must kill but her. The interesting thing is she does that much to her body, but her face is so yeah. okay. Unusual. Wait a minute, yeah. because see, this it says, ha ha. This might be the key. It says she can inflate her breasts with a hose. Really? I didn't know they had them portable like that. So Say my, what? It says Martina gave. Martina Big gave up her high-flying career as an air hostess to focus on getting bigger boobs. Now the air model hostess. has... You mean a stroke? Yes. <laughs> flight attendant. Oh, oh you gotta be kidding me. Now the model has several breasts out. that can be pumped up via a hose. Wow. Wow. Hose. And so, you know, of course, probably a hose is probably like an IV tube. Sure, you know, sure, like sure, so sure. Small like that. Well, but, it could be one of those things like when your kid had that little, you know, pool toys. Uh, 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 but then that speaks to the fact that oh, that uh, oh <laughs> no, that's not Martina. Oh, <laughs> oh no! Oh my God! Oh my God! She must be just sucking on the pool drain. That's oh. not Martina. Oh my God! That's terrible. So did you have to tip your glasses to see? Because no, it said Mary Man spends a hundred thousand k, hundred thousand k to. Be, oh, this is a guy. Oh, to do what? To 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 look like a, to become a perfect woman. No, but he he missed the mark. He's missing a step. Oh, <laughs> he's missing several oh. steps.